Welcome to Shall We Learn 10 Minutes Web Programming, and we'll start with Aptana 3. First, we're going to install Aptana 3, and that's pretty straightforward. You can get that at www.aptana.com. This is what the website looks like, and you, it's free. It's completely free. You can just click on this button, download Aptana Studio 3, and then once it installs, you're going to see an uh, application that looks, oops, that looks like um, what we just saw, and we'll show you in a minute. And next, we're going to create a new web project. We're going to do this step by step. So, but I just want to show you what's coming up. Next step, we're going to add an index.html. And next, we're going to test the program. Let's start. So first, we go. You will go ahead and install Aptana. And if you need, you can pause this video. Next, when Aptana has been installed, you open up the app. This is what it would look like. So to create a new project, let's go to File, New, and Web Project. You're at the web project, you select just like the, the slide we just showed, you select the default project. The default project right here is some description. The default po web project is without a template. So you click next and you give it a project name. Just say test project. Or you can give it any name you want. As long as you don't have another project that has the same name. So click finish. It's taking a little time and it's going to create a project for you right here. If you go to the project, it's, there's a project key at the left hand side. This area, you can see the project explorer and then application explorer. There's no application here yet, but there's a project called test project. That's what we just created. So when you click expand it, there's no file in the test project because this one doesn't contain any template so it doesn't have any file, it's empty. What you do, you we, next we're going to add a file. Just do new and click select file. Here you can enter the file name, just give it an index.html. It has to be index.html because this is the page your web browser first will first hit. So you want to um, give it a, a name index.html and then click finish. Here you have a file called index.html and what you would do is you type in and next what you want to do is you want to turn this into a HTML5 file. So type as I type in here on, on the uh, editor and you will see that you'll have these helper or context aware. We call them context aware. You can you can have these helper drop down. You can select so the exclamation doc type is what we want. Just double click that exclamation doc doc five. So let's take us. This is our current step. We are going. We have added an index.html, and next we're going to add the content. So this is a content exclamation doc type HTML. This turns. This is the. This tells the browser that this file is an HTML five file. So here you have your tag, HTML tag, and the closing tag, HTML, and then body and the closed body tag. And finally, in here you have two, two things. You have a header, it says my first heading, and you have a P stands for paragraph. So P inside the P tag, you have my first paragraph. Let's do that. Let's go back to our Aptana programs. So here I'm going to cheat a little and take a sneak peek. Just going to copy HTML and then here you can type in HTML and notice that when you're typing in the editor it's really nice that it, it fills these out for you so you don't have to type the whole thing. It's going to suggest you with some say body and then the only available is the body so it's it's pretty easy to select that and enter. And next you want to do h1, this first header, 
And here you type in my first heading. And same thing here, we will type inside the body, we type P for paragraph, and as soon as you hit enter, the closing tag will be filled in for you. And here you type in paragraph for my first paragraph. All right, and when you're done, you can hit Control S to save the file. And then by the way, when you modify this, say I'm going to add um, some space here, you see that uh, there's a little asterisk or star right next to the, the index, right next to the file name. This means that this file has been changed, so you want to make sure that you save it, then you do a Control S, or you can hit these save button, save all, or you just want to save this particular file, then you can hit the this, these button, and as soon as you do that, the file is saved and the stars went away. And we next we are ready to test this. So right click, next step is uh, test the program. So here it says right click on index.html and run as JavaScript web project. Let's do that. So we will right click on index.html and go all the way down to run us and select JavaScript web applications. As, you, as soon as you do that, uh, your web browser should pop up and then it will hit the 123001. This is just your local IP address. This is the IP address of your local machine. And then this is the default port number. This is your project name. And then this is a file. If you if IP address and the port number doesn't make much, doesn't ring much bell to you, 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 you don't have to worry about it. What I'm trying to say is that this portion will autom automatically be filled in for you. And here, this is your my first heading, my, my first paragraph. If you go ahead and change something, say you change um, my first heading 333 and hit, make sure you control S or hit save to save this file. Then you go back to this page and you can just hit refresh. You can hit enter or you can just hit F5 to say to refresh to refresh the page. Let's do let's try that again. Add one 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 here. Click save. And then here you can also instead of F5 or hit enter, you can also do um, refresh. I guess that's just use it. Click enter. Here's one, or you can use this button, whichever way you do to refresh your page. Today, today we have installed Octana, and we created a new web project by going File New Web Project and pick a default type. Next, we added an index HTML file, and we also add the content for that HTML file. Then finally, we test the program. Right-click on index.html and we run that as a JavaScript web project. Looks like um, this. My, it's pretty straightforward, but this is a web app, as simple as it is. So that concludes our lesson. I want to tell you. See you next time, and remember, Jesus loves you, and you are forever dear and precious to Him. I'll see you next time.